COVID-19 produces inflammation in our body like any other viral infection. And this inflammation can impact pretty much any organ in your body and the heart does not get spared. When there's inflammation in the heart, it can actually lead to multiple different manifestations. Some people may have inflammation of the lining of the heart, which is the sac that the heart sits in, and this is called pericarditis. And it can present with chest discomfort, shortness of breath. The good news is that it's relatively benign and can be easily treated. Sometimes the inflammation can also impact the muscle of the heart itself which is uh, pertinent for pumping the blood to the rest of the body. And this is sort of the more less benign presentation, which is called myocarditis. And when the muscle of the heart gets inflamed, sometimes it can lead to weakening of the heart muscle and heart failure. This is obviously something uh, that's more serious and needs tension usually by getting admitted to the hospital. The rhythm of the heart can also get affected, so people may develop palpitations, abnormal heart rhythm, fast heart rhythms. And last but not the least, if you have underlying heart disease, it can make your heart disease worse or exacerbate the underlying heart disease. COVID can also impact the balance of the blood pressure and the heart rate in your body. So some people can develop uh, low blood pressure or dizziness because of abnormal homeostasis of blood pressure in your body. So, you know, multiple, multiple ways, unfortunately, in which uh, COVID can impact your heart. I think the bottom line that I tell all my patients is if something doesn't feel right, it's better to be safe than sorry and go see your doctor. Usually as a cardiologist, I tell my patients that if you have ongoing shortness of breath after your fever and your upper respiratory symptoms is resolved, if you're having ongoing chest discomfort, especially with exertion, if you notice that your heartbeat feels irregular, skipping beats, you know, a lot of people nowadays wear Apple Watch or Fitbits. And if you're noticing an extremely elevated heart rate, usually above 100, even at rest or, you know, after you've finished exercising, then these may all be reasons you want to go see a cardiologist. Also, abnormal ongoing fatigue, swelling in the legs, and also dizziness or lightheadedness with exertion or if it's exacerbated when you're changing positions, these are all reasons to seek medical care. With COVID, obviously we do see long-term ongoing symptoms called long COVID. The good news is that we do see most of it actually resolves, uh, especially the inflammatory portion. As the inflammation resolves and your body heals, uh, the long-term sequelae kind of wind down. You know, if you have pericarditis, which is the inflammation of the lining of the heart or the heart muscle itself or abnormal heart rhythms, oftentimes with treatment, these do resolve. With respect to the blood pressure and the heart rate, these may be longer term, but we do see that with time and appropriate medical care, these can be tackled in conjunction with your doctor.